Right, so we have our solidified muscles and now it is time to create our muscle fiber directions. So in a real muscle, all the muscle cells are long and thin and are called muscle fibers. And the muscle contracts along the length of those fibers and that is what gives the muscle its strength. And if you look at a, an illustration of a muscle, you will see the lines drawn on the surface of the muscle indicating the fiber direction. And now we want to indicate which direction our muscles need to contract along. So we're going to create a node called fiber groom. And it's going to create some default fiber values for us. In order to see them, we're going to hit enter in the viewport to enter the view state. Sometimes uh, it, even with this value, the vectors should sort of display like this, and then you just sort of need to wiggle it a bit and it will fix it. Um, it's a bit of a viewport bug, but what can we do? So by default, it will specify our muscle IDs as our pieces, which is good. We want to visualize these fiber directions, the scale I just showed you. I would suggest against ever toggling on stroke signal pieces because this way it is going to Each time you want to work on basically just one muscle at a time. So you don't want one stroke to affect multiple muscles. The axial ramp correction, don't worry about it too much. That's basically only there for backwards compatibility so that it can be off in older versions, but you'll always want it on. And then there is an option for inputting curves to externally define the direction of the fibers. And I will leave that as an exercise for those of you who are curious about that to figure it out for yourselves. Uh, finally, the enable symmetry. When you're only working with half of the model like this and you have some central muscles, I found that it actually is a bit funky. It affects muscles that I don't want it to affect. So it behaves as if this isn't off. So it's a bug that I'll try to fix in the future, but for now, I will just work with it off. I just cleared all my strokes with that button. I'm going to start again. So you see it initializes it to a pretty good value, especially for these long, thin cylindrical muscles. It uses the direction of the longest axis of the muscle as its initialization value. But you'll see for these curved muscles and for these more complex shapes, such as the lats and the trapezius, it doesn't quite know what to do. So let's fix it. Now, if you look at references of the trapezius muscle, you'll see that the fibers run from the spine towards the shoulder and it sort of fans out. And the direction that we're going to specify, it doesn't matter if you do it in this direction or in that direction, will give the same result. It's just once you've picked a direction, stick with that direction, otherwise the groom will get confused. So I'm going to just draw the flow. It's basically just sketching it out, really. And let's fix this little area down here. I don't know what that was. I'm going to ignore it until something drastic happens. Okay, that looks great. Now let's do the lats. So just to sort of go into a bit more detail of what I'm actually doing here. The first stroke you do per muscle is going to set the direction for all the vectors on that muscle, for all the fiber directions. So I'm happy with this, but I want to tweak it here. So I click here and now, oh no, it's changed this. Don't worry, that's normal. Your extra, each successive stroke is going to refine it. Okay. So away from the spine. I'm just doing short clicks. You can do longer clicks, but short clicks are perfectly acceptable. Uh, let me fix these. So again, I'm happy with this. I'm not happy there. If I click it for the first stroke, it looks like it's broken it there, but you can just click it. Very nice and fast and easy. And finally, I want to do this one. Sort of try to taper it in a bit to there. Okay, great. Uh, let's just fix these. Since I don't have symmetry on, I'm kind of going to have to eyeball it. I mean, it doesn't really matter. I'm not too concerned with contracting these muscles anyway. But for the muscles that we do want contracting, this is going to be great. 
And don't worry if it's penetrating the surface a bit. It's just determining the overall flow. I'm nitpicking. Okay, let's end that there. In the next video, we are going to look at setting up the muscle physical properties for simulation. See you there.